Hello, groupies. Welcome to PIAC Minnesota Paranormal. Happy Wednesday, March 3rd. I wanted to get a really, really quick broadcast out to you because I wanted to clarify something. In, in this past weekend, uh, we watched the CPAC convention and there was a lot of scuttlebutt and criticism and all kinds of nonsense involving the stage. Now, conventions are like state fairs or anything. They are celebrations of the things that make your topic great, your business, your state, whatever. And they should be taken lightly. But a lot of uh, uneducated people, a lot of people that don't choose to open their minds have been very, very critical about the way the stage was designed. Are you fucking kidding me? Anyway, so apparently the stage is being accused of being in the shape of a Nazi symbol, the Nazi symbol Othala. Okay. Well, Othala is actually one of the symbols, a rune symbol, R-U-N-E. It is part of the oldest known organized alphabet in human history called the Elder Futhark. And it is from Norway, not Germany. It uh, is associated with the Vikings and the Norse god Odin. And it's believed that when Odin had... Uh, pierced his chest with a blade and hung himself by his ankles upside down and he spun around for days and days on a tree that his blood splatters created the first elder futhark or the rune stones or rune symbols and as a paranormal investigator and psychic medium i actually uh, professionally read runes at uh, psychic fairs and and parties and things uh, for years back in the early 2000s and so I do know a little bit about these symbols. Othala is a, looks almost more like a fish, and it is a rune symbolizing separation, and not separation so much from uh, like a divorce or something, but a separation of a way of life or an outmoded idea that is no longer working for you and isn't healthy anymore. And if it's upside down, that means the tail is up and the body is down, it means kind of the opposite, you know, that, that you're stagnating and there's something holding you back and you kind of need to reflect on it. It's pretty innocuous as far as symbols go, but like the swastika, Adolf Hitler hijacked it, <clears throat> made it his own because he's an evil motherfucker. Unfortunately, like the Sanskrit symbol of the swastika, which is also extremely ancient, by the way. It is a sacred symbol that you will find in, uh, in Amish communities. You will find it in Buddhism. You will find it in Tibetan monks. You will find it in Navajo uh, history as well. So it's universal and it's worldwide. And unfortunately, because Adolf Hitler was extraordinarily superstitious, he believed that the swastika and obviously Othala as well, were going to be symbols of strength and they were going to give him some kind of magical boost or magic power. And we always look to symbols to protect ourselves. Keep in mind that people wear stars of David and crosses around their neck all the time because they believe that it gives them some kind of protection. It lets the world know who they follow as a god. And it also they believes that protects them and heals them. And when they're in, in times of distress, they can, they can grasp that symbol around their neck and and it gives them some comfort and focus their prayers. I wear this. It is called the Seal of the Seven. It is the seals and names of the seven archangels and the seven lower gods. It's believed that it is protective and reflective. And I love it. It's beautiful. And I wear it often. In fact, uh, everyone on my paranormal team has one. And we all wear them. And, and they're, very, they're very powerful. They have a lot of energy to them. So... For someone to adopt a symbol uh, doesn't make the symbol evil. What they do with it is what makes it evil. And I want to set the record straight that Othala is not evil. And if you look at that stage, you 
when I heard that, I, I looked at my D and I went, well, what the fuck? I see a diamond shape. I see triangles. I see right angles. I see a square. I see a musical note. I see an L. I see all kinds of different symbols there. Now, the human brain is hardwired neurologically to look for familiar facial features in non-human things. That's why people see Jesus in toast and tortillas, because they are in, intended to, uh, it, it's to give us some kind of familiarity to, to teach us to recognize enemy from, from friend, foe from friend, and, and if we should uh, be on the lookout for a problem. It goes back to ancient times, probably when we were hairy Neanderthal monkey people. But nonetheless, uh, when you look at something like the stage at the CPAC convention, some people see Othala, some people see triangles and diamonds and squares and other things. It depends on where your mindset is. Now, could they have made a better choice? Absolutely. But they didn't, and it didn't have any impact. They weren't stomping on the stage. They weren't uh, pledging fealty to the stage. However, they were ple pledging fealty to that golden idol of Trump, that statue. Um, and I think a lot of Christians need to look at how hypocritical that was, that they were hugging it and kissing it and taking pictures of themselves with it. Because, you know, didn't Moses... Uh, flip out when he came back down off the mountain there from getting high with that burning bush and making the Ten Commandments, found his people praying to idols and golden phalluses. I think it's a, it's a bad juju from the Bible, from both Jewish and Christian religions. So, um, you know, you hypocrites, you might want to look at that. But nonetheless, uh, rune symbols are they are a form of communication written communication you can find them on bone and stones and my collection in particular the ones that i used when i was on the psychic circuit and reading i'm going to show you all so this is my altar in my office helps to keep me sane i love voodoo dolls by the way i collect voodoo dolls and i'm going to get into the market i'm going to make my own but this is, uh, this is an old tobacco basket that was handmade by a woman in Vietnam and brought back from the Vietnam era in the 60s and 70s uh, by a veteran. And I bought it from him for 18 bucks in 2002. And these are my runes. These, uh, I have the complete collection, not just the basic 24, I think. Each one has a symbol on it and a and the uh, little flower to indicate that if the flower is down, then it's an upright or reversed, because runes are read upright or reversed. And you always read them on a white cloth, so this very uh, special vintage lace linen cloth I use also. Now, these particular runes, I made these myself in 2002 during a winter full moon. They are, they are made out of a white pine branch that I found in the woods on a patch of property that had once been occupied hundreds and hundreds of years ago by Native Americans in northern Michigan. I chose the branch. I cut each piece by hand, so they're all different and unique. I painted them. I conducted rituals for three days. Each symbol was hand-painted by me, and they've been sealed up and and hopefully they'll stand the test of time. This is Ridu, and Rado means a physical journey. It literally means not just a metaphorical or spiritual, but actual physical journey, like you're going to go on a trip or something. And Gifu, here's Gifu. Gifu means the gift. We have Is. Is is a contract or uh, ice. Is means ice or stalemate. Uh, stagnation, but it can also mean a business contract. And there's many, many, many more. This is, there you go, this is Cano. Cano is a, a flame opening up to the world and enlightening you and shedding light on things that need to be addressed in your life. So I made these and I read these for people at the fairs and parties and different things. And it was a wonderful time. I really enjoyed it. 
and they're very powerful sim symbols and you can take your finger and draw algae across the tops of your doors for protection you can you can uh take your finger and draw an imaginary taiwas the arrow for the spirit warrior on your heart if you are entering battle there are many many things that you can do and they all stand for multiple definitions and unlike the english alphabet where one must take letters to create words to create a paragraph their symbols actually mean have meaning like uh, once one symbol can be an entire statement so it's actually kind of efficient i think so yes that is the rune symbols they are not nazi symbols unfortunately they were hijacked by hitler and i am really really sorry that happened unfortunately that is not the case they weren't saying they were nazis there was no high hitlers there were no indications that they were opening up the nazi party or anything like that uh, and I think that it's just fear mongers trying to keep dividing our nation further and further apart from each side. And it's really sad and I feel awful about it. But let's do universal praying and universal meditation and sending universal energy of light and love and guidance out to the universe. Let's pray for the ignorant that make trouble just because they can and pray that they'll find some enlightenment and pray that they will let go of their fear and their anger because what's done is done you can't change the past you can only reflect upon it to create a better future for yourself and the world at large and until next time may you be filled with the light and love of the universe and always do good